Hey everyone, uh, so today I'm going to clean out my car and I'm going to show how I did my horn button because that was requested by somebody. Um, and yeah, that's it. Um, I also ordered a Rode Video Micro, which is only six, when I ordered it, it was $67. Um, and I looked up a lot of reviews on it. It's a really good microphone and it will sound amazing, especially with the dead cat on it. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. Alright, so the first part, take it off the wheel. If you don't have the option, it's whatever. But I'm just going to do it for this, just to make it easier. Plus, it'll allow me to uh, uh, show what I'm doing a little bit better. Alright, so right here is the horn button itself. Um, I can't exactly show what I did to, you know, make this. But basically what happened is, uh, this piece is just blank. I don't know what it's for. It might be for the defroster or something on the later models or special models or something. But basically this is just a blank and there's nothing in it except on the other side there is a open-ended plug that went to nothing and I don't know what it was for so I just took it out of there because it was doing nothing but holding it. And then I was able to take this out by pulling those two little clips on the, out, on the back I uh, took it out and then I just drilled through it with a drill to the size of about this button. Um, the button you get is up to you. Um, you can do whatever you want. Uh, but I chose one of these, which was the best option I had at the time. Alright, so the next thing you want to do here is that there's three screws. One here, one here, and one here. You just take those out and then you just gently pull this down. And then you just take off the top piece here as well. And then from there, you want to take out these two screws here. Um, this one's missing, so I only have to take out this one. Uh, and then once you do all that, you'll have access to all the wires underneath. I forgot there's actually four. There. There we go. All right. So here's the main thing. This green wire here. This one. This is the one for the horn button, and I grounded it to this post right here. This is where one of the screws go in, the, fruit, the the front one. I just taped it with some electrical tape and put a zip tie around it just to make sure it stayed on there. And that, that grounds it to the car so that way it actually works. Um, and then the other part of it, which I'm not going to be able to show exactly, but there's another wire. I um, can't remember which one. Let me see if I can find it. Alright, I think I remember now. So there's another wire over here in this area. It's like black and green. Uh, that is what goes to the horn. So what I did is I, all I did was just I hooked that one up to the switch and then use the extra wire, which is this green wire here, uh, from the switch all the way over here to the post. And then just that allows it to ground and lets the power through the horn. Um, just that way it grounds it and lets it, you know, horn or, you know, go off or whatever. Uh, so one thing I might do in the future or, you know, maybe in a couple weeks, uh, I have a Audi horn that I want to replace this one with um, and I might show how to do that. So, yeah. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the steering column stuff back together uh, and I'll clean out my car. Uh, which includes taking out my seats, so, you know, so I can get a deep clean. Well, deep clean. Whatever a deep clean is, you know. Um, but yeah, 